The velocity v meters per second of a particle at time t is given by v is equal to 0 0.8 t 6 minus t. Determine whether the speed of the particle is decreasing or increasing when t is equal to 1, t is equal to 5 and t is equal to 7. Now the important thing in this question is that we're not actually considering whether the velocity is positive or negative, we, uh, or the velocity is increasing or decreasing, we're in interested whether the speed is increasing or decreasing. So speed has to have magnitude only. So let's write that down. So v is equal to 0 0.8 t 6 minus t. If we expand that, we're going to get 4.8 t minus 0 0.8 t squared. It's also good to look at the acceleration because acceleration is rate of change of velocity. So a is dv by d, d, dt. So a will be equal to 4.8 if you differentiate this and then bring down the 2, we're going to get minus 1.6 t. Right, now we've got to consider each of the values, work out each of the values for t is equal to 1, 5 and 7. But before we do that, I'm going to look at this G algebra app. Okay, so here we have a graph of the function of velocity against time. Okay, we're going to move this slider along. Okay, so at the beginning, the acceleration is positive, but the uh, there is no speed. So, oops. Okay, so if we move this along, okay, uh, let's have a look at t is equal to 1. Let me find it. There you go. T is equal to 1, which is this point here. Okay, what we can see is that the velocity at that point is positive and that the acceleration is also positive and therefore that means that the speed will also be increasing. If we carry on, at this particular point here, the velocity is positive but the acceleration and the speed are have are, are, are have no uh, are not increasing, and this ha obviously has no sign. Then the next uh, value we need to look up was when we were at five. So at this particular part of the graph, okay, the velocity is still positive, but the acceleration is negative. So we've got positive negative. That means that the speed will be decreasing. And of course, the interesting thing is when we get to t is equal to 7, just slightly off the graph, let's just move it up a bit so we can see it, okay, which is just that point there, D down here, okay, we can see that the uh, velocity is negative and the acceleration is negative but the speed will actually be increasing. It's sort of here, it's sort of changed direction, but now it's speeding away in the other direction. Okay, so that's looking at it at a graph, but obviously in an exam probably we just need to look at it by looking at the velocity and the acceleration. So, and that GeoGebra app, I will put in the notes of the video. So when t is equal to one, v will be equal to 4.8 times one, minus 0 0.81 squared, which will give 4 meters per second, which tells me it's positive, the velocity, and therefore A is 4.8 minus 1.6 times 1, which means we're going to get 3.2 meters per second squared. And that's also positive. So we've got velocity positive, acceleration positive. That will mean that the speed is increasing. In When T is equal to 5, V will be 4.8 times 5 minus 0 0.8 times 5 squared, which gives 4 meters per second again, which is positive. The acceleration will be 4.8 minus 1.5 times 5, which is minus 3.2 meters per second, which is negative. Speed is decreasing. And when T is equal to 7, we're going to have V is equal to 4.8 times 7 minus 0 0.8 times 7 squared which gives uh, minus uh, 5.6 meters per second, which is negative, and uh, 4.8 minus 1.6 times 7, which gives minus 6.4, which is negative. So here we have a negative negative, so therefore the speed is 
increasing. Now, if we had a positive negative uh, velocity but positive acceleration which is what we don't have in any of these situations again that will be a case where the speed is actually going to decrease because the um, velocity will be heading back towards the uh, where it has where, where it actually changes direction so this GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of the video so what I was talking about in the last case if it was coming back up here the, this is the case where the Velocity is negative, but the acceleration is positive, but the speed will be decreasing up until it got to this particular point, maybe, and then afterwards it will, it will, the speed would actually increase. Okay, I hope you've understood this video. I'll remind you again that the GeoGebra app will be put in the notes of the video. I thank you very much for watching.